it was removed very underhandedly. One year ago today, the Christopher Columbus statue was removed from its pedestal in Worcester Square Park, where it stood for over 120 years. So where is it now? Under lock and key at New Haven Public Works. By August 1st, he says his organization will file a federal lawsuit. For uh, discrimination against Italians. And he says if they don't win in federal court, they'll go as far as they can legally. This morning, his group stood around a banner that read, All Lives Matter. We start picking away at this group of people and that group of people. When are we going to stop? Is somebody going to find fault someday with something Michelangelo did and spray paint the Sistine Chapel? Shortly after the removal of the Columbus statue, Mayor Justin Ellicker appointed a committee to identify what statue might go in its place. To commemorate New Haven's long history of uh, Italian-American migration uh, and communities that are Italian-American growing and um, thriving. Among those here this morning remembering the one-year anniversary of the removal of the Columbus statue, was Shelton Mayor Mark Loretti, who had a very pointed message. And he's offered, if we do not win, if we are not successful, he will be proud to take our statue and put it in the center of Shelton. In response to the assertion that Columbus was a terrible human and slave trader, Criscolo made one final point using money. And on an American currency are pictures of all prominent people most of who had slaves. Should we destroy our American currency? But with the return of Columbus statues to some cities across the country, Chris Golo feels that bodes well for New Haven. I'm Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.